What is that monster tire? That's just 34. Well, about 18. Little baby 34? Yeah. On a little small MSA 18 inch wheel? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty wheel. I it's like that. Really All right, so guys, Harmon is mounting up some tires and wheels, some 34s, and it's not going on a side to side. What do y'all think it's going on? Joel said it was going to be the Seaforce 110 build, but no, we're just kidding. We've got a Seaforce 1000 putting a big lift kit on. We'll tell you all the details about it coming up in this video. We've got some performance parts like our monster skeg clutch kit, Vati Verico, nothing but the best here at teammscparts.com. We've got our stage two secondary spring. We've got this particular stage one kit that goes with that to make all this work together to turn these monster 34 inch tires. I know we're gonna put the Team MSC tune on it. Probably going to put header, dual RJWC exhaust, all kinds of goodies. Cause this is gonna be a monster and I think you're going to enjoy this video. So let's get right into it. So guys, before we put the tires up on it, yes, we still have to do some alignment and some different adjustment once we set it down. But this is our PCF lift. This is the long travel six inch lift for the Seaforce 1000. And it is an absolute monster of a kit. We'll get into the details, like I said, throughout the video. And uh, just really excited about this setup. Uh, of course, we already got our RJWC Power Sports exhaust pulled. We've got our clutch kit pulled. And uh, look at this, man. So the CF Moto is a monster already. The Seaforce 1000. Absolute tank. Okay. Let me scoot this around. But, dude, the. Uh, it's going to be hard to do this. We're going to have to actually put this up next to another stock machine. But the, I mean, look how much shorter. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this justice. I got another video clip I'll flash to it where it really shows you the stock versus the long travel big lift kit. Well, this is stock length. This is aftermarket. You see this is gonna be a big difference between stock. <laughs> This is gonna be a big difference between stock and the big lift kit. And uh, it's gonna be exciting to see it perform. And uh, I'm ready to film Joel doing some crazy stuff on it. It's gonna be fun. But uh, Harmon's putting the, setting the air pressure in the tires. I know this is kind of boring to some of y'all, but some of y'all like the whole shop videos and working on stuff. But uh, we'll get the tires mounted up. We'll set down on the ground and get to adjusting on the camber and the toe in and all that good stuff and we got to go see this thing in in motion we'll take it easy at first check it out this is our first one and then we will go full send there she goes first time to pull her out of here well we just sat down get the arms of the lift out of the way that is awesome son so now it's scrubbed out super wide. Oh yeah, oh she's scrubbing. All right, so Mr. Harmon has taken the secondary off of the clutch and as well as taking the primary and we're putting on a clutch kit, the Team MSC clutch kit. He's finished up the secondary over here. Let's see, what you got here? Oh, by the way, if you need a secondary clutch tool, we've got the exact setup that you need at teammscparts.com. It's the grade eight bolt. You ain't gotta worry about it stripping out or anything like that. It's got the exact length that you need to build a completely decompress your secondary spring without having to shove down and push and all that stuff this is the one you need and it fits pretty much everything so uh, yeah teammscparts.com gets you what you need there great price you ain't got to worry about it but anyways what do we have here we've got the skeg monster from vati verico 
This is nothing but the best. Exactly what we need for this monster over there. And our stage two secondary spring. That's a beast. Um, yeah. So this is what we need for this big setup. It's going to absolutely rip. Harmon's going to change the weights and stuff out in the primary. And we will uh, put our new primary spring on. He's going to get all that lined up, fixed up. And uh, we have a ton of clutch videos on the YouTube channel here. And uh, you can go check those out. But real simple. I, it's been a while. We, we may need to start doing some more updated videos to show you how to do it. But there are plenty right here at Real Talk Power Sports. You can check those out if you just dig back at different clutch videos. The C-Force 1000 procedure is still the same as it's been, just like the C-Force 800. These are your weight containers, and uh, he's gonna press in the new weights. Make sure you press them all the way in, and they need to sit down. Well, once he puts the weights in, we'll show you that. There's the washer there. You wanna put the washer on first into the spring retainer cup. And there's the spring that we're using for this particular setup. Here's our new weights. And then Harmon's just gonna press those all in. Make sure you press them all the way in flush. You're gonna do that in each one. Everything's pressed all the way down. And then you put the retainer back in, just like he's doing. All right, show him how not to do one. That's not what you want, okay? You want the flat surface pointing up. All right. And then one more. Then we'll put our ramp plate back in. And that's it. He's got his mark right there. Lining all that up. That's just how it was balanced from the factory. And we'll line that line up here, wherever it went on to the back pulley on the primary. He's found it there, so he'll line all that up, put it on, and tighten everything back down. And we'll put the belt cover on, make sure that your seal is good. Don't over torque these either. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Also, don't forget that, man, if, if you just, you know, you're nervous about working on your own machine, that's fine. We want to do these instructional videos and we'll do more detailed instructional videos for you. But if you are, you know, concerned about working on your own machine and you'd rather have the professionals do it, you can make the trip to Main Street Cycle, work something out with the shop. You can call the parts department and we will schedule you in. Make sure, especially if you're driving a long way off, we will make sure that we get you in on a day where we're expecting you and we'll plan for that and we'll get you in, get you back out on the road and get you fixed up. So don't forget that, that is an option. We will gladly take care of you here at Main Street Cycle. And so Harmon was just you know, even though he knows he installed it correctly, he always fires it up, runs it just for, you know, a few seconds, make sure that everything's engaging like it should be before you go and put the belt cover back on, especially when you're installing one on a side-by-side. -side. <laughs> you don't want to have to redo everything. So uh, always verify your work, make sure you installed it correctly. And uh, that way you don't have to go through all kinds of, hurdles to get it back apart. Now that we have the clutch kit installed, Harmon is installing the RJWC dual apex exhaust. That thing's gonna be sounding awesome. And then we're gonna get the Team MSC tune in it. And she's gonna be ripping.
Yeah, buddy. The next day. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Not completely done yet, but good enough to get out, drive it around for a second. We just installed the RJWC floorboards. If you want to see that whole see the whole installation. I can't call. JWC floorboards. It's all on its own separate video. Uh, you can check that out. It was a, probably a couple videos ago. Not sure the order I'm posting these. But we had to trim them for these 34s. We still got to put the tune on it. I hit the stop record button when I turned the camera around. But anyways, I was just closing this video out. We're putting the Team MSC tune in this Sea Force 1000 right now. We're also doing a little something fun with this Sea Force 1000 as well. Uh, you'll you'll just have to stay tuned to the channel as we uh, make a few future videos. Actually, we're filming these this weekend at BMB Off Road Park, having a big event there. So really excited about that we're going to be getting some footage of this overland 1000 build back here that you've been watching this video as well as competing in a mud race event and just getting a lot of good footage for y'all so make sure you subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up and uh listen guys if you appreciate what we do if you enjoy these videos one of the biggest ways you can help us is make sure that you are subscribed Make sure you're following me on Facebook as well. You can follow my personal page, Blake Stallings, as well as Real Talk Power Sports on Facebook. And make sure that you check us out at Team MSC Racing on TikTok. Make sure you give us a follow there. Also, another big way that you can help us out is if you just shop from TeamMSCParts.com, make sure you buy all of your parts and accessories there. That's a big help and we'd love to see you here at Main Street Cycle. Joel just left. Anyways, guys, we appreciate y'all. God bless y'all. As always, remember, keep it real. We'll see you in the next one. What's he doing?